In this video, we'll spin up a reference application for the restaurant ordering use case. From the Conversation Relay serverless repo, download or clone the code base to your local machine. The repo has three top-level directories, decoupled architecture, which contains all of the components of the application broken out into their own stack. The prompts folder has the prompts used for these use cases. And then lastly, the single stack solution has applications broken out into their own individual stacks. We're spinning up the restaurant ordering application, so we'll start there. Before starting, make sure you have the necessary prerequisites. Enter AWS minus minus version. That should return something that looks like that. And then SAM minus minus version. Next up, make sure you have Node, ideally a most recent version. And also NPM is required as well. Since this application is deployed to AWS, you also need an AWS account and a local profile set up. We use the local profile to actually deploy to AWS. The name of the profile should be in this aws-profile.profile file. So here's the name of my profile. And then if I run AWS configure list profiles, that should return the name of the profiles I have installed locally. Make sure that your profile is here and that it matches your profile in the .profile file. With the prerequisites in place, we can get started. In the single stack solution folder, and then the restaurant ordering folder, click on commands-cr-restaurant ordering. Use this file as your checklist to get up and running. First, we're gonna install these node libraries. These turn into Lambda layers. Essentially, we're just adding SDKs for OpenAI, SendGrid, and Twilio. Of course, with Twilio and SendGrid, this will enable your application to send SMS messages and emails. Just make sure you run these commands from the single stack solutions slash restaurant ordering folder. The next thing we need to do is add some API keys. And this is done from the template.yaml file. And in step two here on this instruction checklist, we talk about using AWS secret managers, which is best practices because we don't want to store secrets locally. So this goes into how we can use AWS Secrets Manager and then allow the teplin.yaml to uh, fill those in in runtime or at deployment time. To get you up and running quickly, we're just going to enter the API keys directly into the template.yaml file. Open the template.yaml file, do control F for open AI, and then we will comment out the open AI key that is set currently to Secrets Manager and then uncomment out the other API key. And we'll just enter our API key in here as such. Next, search for Twilio underscore account. And there's the account SID. So we'll uncomment out these lines and then also the, for the Twilio account SID and for the auth token, we will comment the ones out that use AWS Secret Manager. And then we'll enter in the credentials here. Again, for production, we want you to follow best practices, but for this purpose, we want to get you up and running quickly. Uh, lastly, we'll go to SendGrid. We'll do the same thing here. Now note, if you don't want to connect your SendGrid or Twilio accounts to get started, you can enter fake data into these API keys. Uh, it won't work, but this is a placeholder to allow you to add our interactive channels to your applications. Now we're ready to deploy. We'll move on to the next step in the checklist. And the first thing we need to do is run SAM build. And this prepares all of the files locally to be deployed to your AWS account. So we'll run SAM build from the uh, single stack solution restaurant ordering directory. And this builds everything locally. Next, copy this line, which is SAM deploy. Uh, and we'll paste it here into the command line. And notice that it's a guided deployment. Uh, the stack name is here. And this references the profile file uh, and the template.yaml file used to build this application and uh, run it up into your specific AWS account. Since this is a guided deployment, it will ask you some questions. Uh, so the first one, let's confirm that this is the name we want to use, uh, CA Restaurant Ordering. 
Uh, we want to use US East 1 because uh, that's where everything is deployed, so make sure you use that. Uh, then we can confirm the changes, uh, accept the defaults. Uh, for this particular one uh, here, Call Setup has no authentication. This is calling from Twilio to your AWS account. And for now, we'll say that yes, it's okay that it doesn't have authentication. You know, for production applications, you would want to secure that endpoint. Select the default options for the remainder, and this will kick off a deployment. It'll take a few minutes to deploy. Pretty exciting to be able to deploy all of these resources in just a couple minutes. Switch over to your AWS console, and then find CloudFormation. So here is the stack that was just spun up. You can click on resources and go through everything that has just been created and deployed. Now we'll want to go to the outputs tab, click on outputs, and then copy this value. This is what we're going to use to point Twilio to this application. So we'll copy and then we'll switch over to our Twilio account. And then under phone numbers, active numbers, find the phone number we want to use. We'll click on it. And then in the voice handler for that phone number, when a call comes in, we'll set that to webhook and then we'll paste that URL in there. So when a call comes in, it'll post to that URL pointing back to our application. We'll save those changes and then we'll return to our code base. So we just did that step from our instructions file. And then we just need to do some data loading. So copy this command. And what this does is it adds an item to our newly deployed DynamoDB. And this item has all the configuration for this use case, including the conversation relay parameters and also the use case parameters. And it's located in this DynamoDB loaders fo folder in the configuration folder. So you can kind of edit this to your own purposes. So I'll copy that command and then run it. We'll switch back to the AWS console and then we'll search for DynamoDB. Click on DynamoDB and then tables. And then we can see the DynamoDB table that we just created. We'll click on explore tables and there should only be one in there to start. And in this item, there are attributes for the LLM calls. So DTMF handlers, the prompt is in here, so you can actually edit this in real time. And note here, there's some substitution values as well. So current date, user context, this enables you to customize uh, your experience for your users in real time. And then also tool calling. I'll cover that a little bit later. Uh, lastly, in this object or this map for conversation relay parameters, you can inject whatever parameters uh, you want. This can also be done dynamically to customize the experience for your users. So now we're ready to place a call. You should be able to call your phone number and get a call that sounds something like this. Thanks for calling Twilio Doughboy Pizza. How can I help you? I'd like to place an order. Great. First, may I have your first name? Sure, it's Dan. Thanks, Dan. Is your order for pickup or delivery? For a pickup. Awesome. What would you like to order? I'll take a pepperoni pizza. Once you've made a call, go to the DynamoDB instance, explore tables, and then use query and select the index and then enter connection as the partition key. That will return all of the calls that have been made. Select one of them, I'll copy this value, and then I'll switch back to the main table, and then as the partition key, paste that in there. And here are all the chat messages for this conversation. I'll sort by the sort key, and then I'll just select any of these to give you an idea of what's inside. So here is a message. Uh, from the user. So it says hello and I'll go click on another one and we'll see that this is a assistant message asking to confirm an order. So you can see you have instant visibility into your chat conversations. 
And finally, we'll take a quick tour of the actual code base. So in single stack solutions and restaurant ordering, we'll look at the lambdas. And the TWIML folder contains the instructions that are sent back to Twilio. So this gives a summary of what's going on. We get the user data. And then ultimately, we send a TWIML response back with the new conversation relay TWIML verb. All the conversation relay parameters in that DynamoDB item are injected into that TWIML call. In the WebSockets folder, uh, we have an onConnect and disconnect uh, Lambda files. And then under default, you click on app.mjs. That's where most of the heavy lifting occurs. Uh, you will be able to see that we handle events from Conversation Relay, so the obvious ones are Prompt and, and DTMF. I'll also call out uh, Prepare and Call LLM. This is where we get the chat history, we get the prompt, make any changes needed, and then we actually call the LLM uh, of our choice. Uh, lastly, tool calling is done in the functions folder. We have uh, a function manifest, so make function calls. And each one of the function calls uh, has its own uh, JS file to actually do the work that needs to get done. You can start making your own customizations by making changes here. Run that SAM build, SAM deploy, and you're off and running. We are super excited to see the awesome AI-backed voice applications you build using Twilio Conversation Relay. Thanks for watching.